What is the best way to play Madden? Is it arcade, simulation, or competitive? Let's talk about it. So ever since Madden 18, EA has given us the option to not only play the game in different skill levels, so like Rookie, Pro, All Pro, and All Madden, which has been something in the game for a very long time, they also implemented a new game style, and they gave us three options, one being arcade, one being simulation, and the other being competitive. A lot of people want to know, what is the best one to play? Which one should I play? And it's very important for you to understand the three different types of game styles so that you're playing Madden the way that you need to play it. So first up, we're gonna talk about arcade game style. And arcade game style is specifically mentioned as over the top action filled with spectacular plays, lots of scoring and limited penalties. Next up is simulation. Simulation is supposed to play true to player and team ratings with authentic NFL rules and gameplay. And last up we have competitive game style in which user stick skills are king and it is the default for head-to-head -head ranked online matches and tournaments. But that really just doesn't tell you enough. So what I did was I actually went in, I played a few games with each game style so that I could better explain to you exactly what each game style is going to bring to you. And first up, we're gonna talk about arcade. Arcade, as we mentioned previously, is descriptive as over the top action filled with spectacular plays and lots of scoring and limited penalties. The way that you want to think about arcade mode is more along the lines of like NFL Street, NBA Street, the more over the top uh, dynamic, a lot of crazy things are going to happen. If you make a hit stick, a lot of times that fumble is going to occur. If you jump up in the air and try to make a spectacular catch, you're going to make that catch more times than not. You'll break big gains. Defense really won't be much of a thing unless again, you're trying to intercept or for force a fumble. And this game mode might be really, really great for some people who are just getting into playing Madden for the first time. Maybe if you have kids who are just wanting to have fun, or maybe if it's just you, you want to have fun playing the game, you're really not trying to be the best Madden player ever. You just want to see some crazy plays happen. You just want to have fun with you and your friends. Arcade style is going to be the best way to play. But if you're looking for anything that's even close to an authentic NFL experience, then arcade is the furthest away from that. Again, just think of arcade as more of NFL street. If you really like that game style, then arcade game style is going to be perfect for you. Next up, we're going to talk about competitive. Now, we talked about competitive as being really based on stick skills. And this is the main default uh, game style that you get whenever you play online head-to-head -head mode. And if you play in any type of Madden tournaments. Now, the big thing to remember about competitive is it's not arcadey and it's not very much a heavy simulation uh, style gameplay. It's more determined, the game style is more determined on your stick skills. How good are you at moving and juking and selecting the right player to throw the ball to? And ratings aren't exactly king in this situation. Ratings do matter a little bit, but what matters the most is how good are you at juking and moving and creating a separation from defenders or switching to other players to swap passes and get interceptions or run after the catches. All of those things that you see online with big highlights and you see a lot of this on TikTok with players, you know, juking another player on head to head. That's what that's all about. So competitive might be really good for people who love to play online head to head. It's a good game style to always have on so that you can get used to how the game feels and moves. Uh, I feel like it's pretty close to simulation and it's kind of like this in between between arcade and simulation. It, it, you can get over the top plays sometimes. I feel like some of it's realistic, but it's really based on, again, how good are you at moving the sticks on your controller? I also think this can be used in bigger and larger leagues if everybody wants to try to hone in their stick skills. But if you've got 32 players or 32 uh, users in a league and you have some of them that really aren't good at juking and creating separation using the left and right analog sticks, maybe they're just after a more realistic NFL experience on Madden, then they're probably not gonna like this. But again, competitive is gonna be used mainly for those who want to play online head to head and in Madden tournaments. And last up is simulation, which is specifically what I play on. Now, remember simulation was described as playing true to player and team ratings with an authentic, quote unquote, authentic NFL rules and gameplay. Now. The biggest thing that you have to remember about simulation is that ratings matter the most. Ratings are key. Just because you're good on the sticks or just because you throw to the right player 
you uh, press the button at the right time does not mean that you're always going to execute that play because simulation is trying to replicate an NFL game day experience ratings are going to matter most just because you try to hit stick somebody and you do it perfectly at the right time well if it's Derrick Henry you're probably not going to force a fumble or you're probably not even going to knock him back you might execute the tackle but you're not going to knock him backwards on the other side of things just because you might have hair Derrick Henry who's one of the strongest backs in the league and quite honestly the best running back if you try to truck someone just because you're better than them doesn't mean that's always going to happen now in competitive and arcade styles you can get away with that almost nine times out of ten so again simulation is more based off of a real nfl game day experience and overall ratings from player to player competitive is more based on user stick skills this is what you want to want to use if you're going to play a lot of head-to-head -head tournament get type game modes of madden and arcade is just over the top almost every pass will be completed if you if you hit the right one you're going to force fumbles on almost every single hit stick you'll juke out you'll juke defenders left and right almost automatically and again it's more of an arcade style much along nfl street so there you go there are the three gameplay styles i hope that helped clarify things for you guys personally my favorite is simulation uh, i think that it's the closest thing that we can get to a real nfl game day experience my least favorite being arcade i think that some of the animations are a little bit over the top and we all know that man is very animation based and those animations really really take over in arcade mode and then that leaves competitive as you know i kind of take it or leave it i don't play a lot of online head-to-head -head, and i'm not the best on the sticks so and that's mainly just because i don't do a lot of practicing with it but if that's what you really like then competitive is going to be what you want because it's kind of the in-between between arcade and simulation so i hope that helped you out guys if it did make sure to hit that like button down below and uh if you want to support the channel you can hit that join button right beside it and i'll catch everybody later peace out